All right, Cristobal continues to make its way very close to making a landfall. Will likely happen this evening at some point. Moving to the north at 7, it's about 65 miles just to the south of New Orleans at this time. Notice wind still at 50 miles per hour, and the storm seems to be growing a little bit in size, even though we're looking at this landfall that's fairly imminent as well. Let me give you the latest here with the tropical storm warning stretching from intracoastal city Louisiana all the way over to just west of Panama City. These are the areas that are experiencing the tropical storm winds at this time and will continue to do so for the next few hours as those winds continue to move inland towards portions of Mississippi as well. Here's the current setup across the region. You want to know what's keeping this system to our south and not moving directly toward us. We've got this big area of high pressure to the north across the northeast and this back door front. It's kind of acting like a fence or a gate keeping the system just to our south. And so that's why it's going to move a little bit more to the north and west in the coming days due to that front and high pressure, which is good news for us. That means the core of the system will stay well to our north and west. But you can see again, just off the southeastern tip of Louisiana now, this will likely make landfall as we go throughout the evening. Look at the heavy rain bands rotating in from uh, southern Mississippi to Mobile and over towards Jacksonville, Florida. Again, about 63 miles or so just to the south and east of New Orleans there. So getting very close to that tip of making landfall here. But again, and you can see this is the tropical storm force wind showing up here in this yellow shaded area, already reaching areas from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, down towards New Orleans and over towards Mobile. So a pretty large wind fill and a lot of folks already seeing those tropical storm winds. Rainfall totals, look at this, three to six inches in between New Orleans and Mobile just in the past 24 hours. But notice the farther west you go, those totals really ramp up six to 10 inches just in north and west of Panama City. And again, close to a foot of rainfall just to the west of Jacksonville, where they've been in that kind of fire hose of rain rainfall. They're looking at the potential of six to 10 inches or more now developing over Baton Rouge, New Orleans, over towards Biloxi, which is why they do have that flood watch that's in effect there for that area. Not only the flooding from the heavy rainfalls that you have to worry about, this life threatening storm surge is also an issue as uh, the, the tropical storm continues to make its way closer to making landfall. It's pushing in all that wind, just turning up all that water over the ocean. So they're seeing that storm surge of three to five feet moving into places that are at or below sea level. So as we track the latest here with the tropical storm, it'll make landfall again this evening and then as we go throughout your Monday it's going to be bringing heavy rainfall to the Arkland mist and notice we could get a couple of isolated showers with some of that tropical moisture moving in better chances though as we get into your Tuesday and the Wednesday as the overall flow comes out of the Gulf of Mexico around that area of low pressure as it moves to our north you can see our rain chances about a 30 percent for your Monday up to a 50% for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's your four day plus. Again, we're looking at pop up showers and storms by your Monday afternoon. Better chances of scattered showers and storms Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we'll dry things out and cool it down slightly with a little lower humidity as we head towards next weekend.